Hello everyone, Mike Adams here with the Audacity Boot Camp. Have you ever had one of those instances where you start Audacity and you think you're ready to go? You've got all your equipment plugged in, but then you look for your mic in Audacity and it isn't there even though you've plugged that microphone in. That's what we're going to talk about in this episode. So if you're like me, this happens more often than you probably care to admit. There have been times when I've started Audacity and then I've plugged my microphone in or whatever device I'm using for my input, input device and it just isn't there. Let me show you what I mean. In this screen that I've got open here before us, if I come up to the device toolbar into my microphone section, I should be able to see the USB mic that I've got right in front of me because this is the mic that I want to use to record this project. But when I come to my drop down list for microphone inputs, my AT2020 USB Plus mic isn't listed there as an option. Now before I learned how to do this, I did it the old fashioned way. I realized I had to shut down Audacity and then restart Audacity and it would magically appear. All of my options would suddenly appear in that drop down window. But that was a few years ago and that was before I realized that you can rescan hardware within Audacity without shutting down Audacity and restarting it. So we see that my microphone isn't there in that drop down option window. But if I come up to my transport drop down window and I simply click rescan audio devices, nothing really happens, nothing visible takes place. But if I go back to my drop down window now for my microphones, you'll see that now all of a sudden my AT2020 USB Plus mic is present in the drop down list and I can select it as my microphone of choice. And just to verify that it is working correctly, I can come up into the meter toolbar right here where it says click to start monitoring. I can click once. And when I do, I can see that I've got good audio through my AT2020 USB Plus microphone. So you don't have to shut down Audacity to force it to go out and rescan your hardware. Every time Audacity starts, it scans your audio hardware and it brings that information into the user interface with it. If I've plugged a piece of equipment into my laptop or into my computer after starting Audacity, I can simply use rescan hardware to tell Audacity to go do another scan and it will pick up whatever I forgot to plug in when I first started Audacity. So that can save you a little bit of time, it can save you a little bit of headache, it can save you a little bit of worry wondering, well, is, is there something wrong with my computer? Is there something wrong with my hardware? What's going on here? I don't see my microphone. Just simply go to transport and rescan hardware and it'll magically appear. So I hope that helped to clear up any confusion related to that and I'll see you in the next video.